I love that we spent eight days exploring so much of Singapore last time and we are still encountering new things here. What a great welcome back to Singapore. Welcome back to Tales From Our Pocket. We are back in Singapore. We can't believe it either. There's so much to explore at the city within a garden that we knew we had to come back for another week to explore the nature side of Singapore. We have a lot to do. We better get going. <laughs> Wait. There you go. So in case you haven't guessed, today we are walking the Southern Ridges Trail. This is a 10 kilometer trail of four different connected parks that run across like downtown Singapore. I don't know how they managed to carve out 10 kilometers of trails, but this is the walk that we wanted to do so badly last time and didn't have time for. So it is the very first thing we're doing today. And then after we've worked up an appetite, we're gonna find a hawker center because we sure have missed those. I love it. <laughs> Whoa, oh. No, no. We gotta do this right. Ready? Three. Success. Strangely, when we visited Singapore last time, we missed the merlion entirely. Something doesn't seem quite right here. Is this it? No. No, it's not. It's not. It's definitely not. No, okay. But it is one in a park and it's pretty cool. There are these arrows pointing in the directions of things. And it's kind of cool because it's a lot of things we saw last time. Chang Airport, Little India, Botanic Garden, Zoo. And even Hao Par Villa. It's a little trip down memory lane. I like it. Oh, oh, look. Hao Par Villa ends in Kuala Lumpur. We were just there. The views from up here are already pretty spectacular. We started this hike down from the harbor front MRT station and then we took like 15 minutes of stairs to get to the top. You can take a cable car, but we wanted the full hike experience today. So we took all the stairs. We might regret that later, to be honest. Not the views though, they're incredible. Singapore is a relatively flat and close to sea level country, but on our trail today, there are a lot of stairs. Even though this video is not gonna air for a few months, for the record, we are here at the very end of July. And it is hot and it is humid and I have had to engage my personal air conditioning. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, not enough. Nothing is enough. This is, wow, speechless by how much I'm sweating. If you hike in Singapore in July, bring lots of water. Yeah, and go at like four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe it's enough. Maybe. So, so far we started here and we are here. And if I look at that, we're about, I don't know, a quarter dumb? No, no. We're going all the way to here. What? We are just entering Henderson Waves, which is probably the best known section of the walk that we're doing today. I can't tell you what it looks like because we're just entering. <laughs> I can tell you the section is very busy. There's a lot of people here. Henderson Waves is actually a bridge that goes over Henderson Road. It also is maybe one of the most unique, the way that it sort of undulates as we are walking up it in the direction that we're going. And set on the side are shelters that you can get a respite from the weather in. So if it's raining out, you have a little bit of cover. If it's super sunny out like today, you've got a little bit of shade. And I think maybe my favorite thing that I've read about this bridge is that it's made from a wood that does not require maintenance and is native to Southeast Asia. It's actually really cool how it's constructed. It's little short pieces of wood instead of really long ones. And then they're sort of bolted or screwed or something that Bill knows that I don't. Screws, bolts, whatever. They're holding the bridge together. They're important. He's busy setting up the drone for a flight. That's why you get me and I know fewer things about engineering than he does. When we were in Singapore last time, I documented pretty thoroughly this caramel nut smell that I smelled everywhere. 
and a lot of you try to help me figure out what that was. I'm not positive we got to the end of it. Some mulch was suggested, some leaves were suggested. It could be any of those. Well, here's another one for you. As we're walking across Henderson Waves, I smell a swimming pool. I smell chlorine, like a swimming pool, and what I see around me is green. I do not see a swimming pool. Am I hallucinating? Is there something nearby that would create the smell? <laughs> Help me solve another one. This is super helpful. We're about to enter the forest walk and we just came from Henderson Waves. I'm expecting that now that we are across Henderson Waves, that we're gonna walk out of the crowds because there were a lot of people there. For sure, one of the most, or maybe the most popular part of the route that we're on today was Henderson Waves. Unfortunately, the forest and the earth walk trails are closed right now for maintenance. Here's what we mean, let's just show you on a map. We're around here somewhere and this section is closed where it's red. So we are gonna follow this yellow route and rejoin the trail right here. Drink lots of water on this trip. As I said, it's very hot. Hey, save some for me. <laughs> but if you run out, there's water refill stations. <laughs> it's a moving target, so you gotta really be on the ball. I got this. Oh, no, oh. We're gonna walk as far as we can because I think there are a few sites along the way. This is the Alcoff Mansion and it's one of our brief detours. This is a mansion that dates back over a hundred years and some pretty fancy people lived here who hosted other fancy people at a number of parties. And now it just hosts cafes, which I do not think we are dressed for. So we are not going to stop here, sadly because we actually could use a little bit of a break. Really pretty building from the outside. Well, we just got to these really cool terraces, which are extra cool now because it has started to rain. We spoke to a couple at the top and they recommended that we seek shelter. Sounds like it might take an hour or two to pass. The shelter's like 20 minutes away. Well, the good news is that it's time for lunch. We're hungry, so I guess we're gonna seek out food earlier than we had planned. I am not really complaining about the rain. It feels very refreshing. It's kind of a bummer though. These terraces are beautiful. We didn't really get to film them properly. While it's totally pouring out, we sort of have shelter in these trees, which were holding off the rain. Adventure. And it doesn't seem to be working anymore. Not enough. We ended up having to stop under a shelter because it was raining pretty hard. And now it's done, but we have realized that the detour that we have to take because part of the trail is closed brings us within spitting distance of a hawker center and it's lunchtime. So if the stars align, then you got to do what the stars tell you to do. And the stars are telling us go to a hawker center. I was so excited. In Malaysia for the past few weeks, we've actually been eating at food centers, which sometimes were called hawker centers, but it's not quite the same experience that we remember having here in Singapore over a year ago. And that is why we're so excited, despite the fact that we've been in Malaysia for the past few weeks and eating at their food centers. Maybe it won't be like what we remember. Hala Blanga hawker center. <laughs> Maybe it is close to how it's supposed to be said. We chose this one purely because of its proximity to where we were. We don't know anything about it, but it looks amazing. Let's go see where the biggest lines are. Okay. Hey, Singapore, guess what we learned? <laughs> All right, I chose one of the longest lines to stand in, even though I feel like I just had this in Malaysia. A very kind auntie came up to me and told me I would not regret ordering this. So I have roasted duck over noodles. 
And it indeed smells really good. I am quite hungry and I am ready to dig in. So this is roasted duck with noodles from the longest line I could find in this hawker center. And a kind auntie that told me I won't regret eating it. She was so cute. <laughs> Oh, the duck is really good. Mm. I'm happy to report this is not spicy, but I've really got to get into the noodles to try the sauce. And the sauce is where dishes are either made or broken. So let's see how this compares. It is quite good. The noodles are like a perfect al dente, so they have a bit of a chew to them, which I really like. The sauce is salty without being overly salty with a really nice soy flavor. I am kind of missing the smoky flavor of the char kway teow that we had on our last night in Malaysia, and I kind of fell in love with that. But this is quite good, and I'm very happy with it. Another first for us today is sugar cane juice. We haven't tried any yet, I don't know why but it changes right here, right now. It is super fresh. The guy just made it with his little machine right there. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if it's gonna be super sweet. Whoa. Oh. That's like drinking sweet grass. I didn't know such a thing existed. <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes like sweet grass. <laughs> We've been saying this a lot in our travels in the past year. This is not what I expected and I like it. <laughs> but it tastes like sweet grass. <laughs> it does smell kind of like grass. <laughs> wow, it's, it's actually less sweet than I expected. Slightly sweet grass is not far off. It's really good. Well, we just had a first. A couple saw us filming and they stopped by and took out of their bag something that they gave to us. They told us to try whatever doesn't look familiar because everything is fantastic. And this is a tofu custard, which is definitely something not familiar to us. Bill loves yogurt and custard, so he's gonna give this one a try. <laughs> I can't believe they just dropped it off for us. That was amazing. What a great welcome back to Singapore. It is warm. The tofu is in a, maybe what looks like a briny kind of solution. This is definitely something unfamiliar to me. I wouldn't go out of my way to order this. I'll give it a try. Oh, it smells really good. I love it. <laughs> That's really unexpected and delicious. It doesn't look appetizing to my Western eyes and Western tastes, but it's just a very, very light sweetness and it, it does taste exactly like a custard. It's good. Thank you to the anonymous uh, couple of Singaporeans that dropped it off for us. That was very nice of you. Thank you. So I stood in line for a very, very long time, maybe 45 minutes. It was the longest line in the entire Hawker Center, and I think this is gonna be worth it. I got to know a local who was standing in front of me in line. He grew up in this neighborhood, and this is his favorite Hawker Center. The couple that runs the Hawker stall, he knows by name. So he helped me, made some recommendations on what to order, so I'm really looking forward to this. In addition, not only is he a new subscriber to our channel, he bought me lunch. So thank you to Ian, thank you very much if you're watching this. So although he grew up in this area, he comes back just for this. Let's see if it's any good. It's a little bit spicy and just, just about the right amount of saltiness. It's not at all like I was expecting. I was expecting more of a strong fish flavor. I think these are fish too, but I'm not really sure. Let's try a fish ball here. Oh yeah, there's the fish flavor. It's just a little bit of nice fish flavor, but I mean, it could almost be chicken. It was, it was delicious. Well, that was a fun, lunch experience with a few firsts. The first time 
that somebody has just bought us lunch after standing in line with one of us. <laughs> and the first time that a random stranger has just dropped off food on our table telling us to try it. Free food. I love Singapore. <laughs> now we are heading back to rejoin our trail and we are very full and moving a lot more slowly. <laughs> and it's the middle of the afternoon and even hotter than it was before. I think the rain somehow made it hotter. But we are still determined to finish this. We're gonna do it. Yes. There's probably only like six more kilometers to go. What? <laughs> it turns out that forest walk is at least partially open. So we are joining it part way through. It starts with stairs. Heather's favorite. What to do when you encounter otters? Look, it still has not happened yet, Singapore, except in the zoo. We still wait the otters, the spontaneous otters crossing. But wait, we're up here. There's no otters up here. There's a second trail that goes just underneath this one. Somewhere. Somewhere down there, there's an earth trail. But of course we want the view, so we're up here. Oh, this is so cool. Aside from being unbelievably hot, the forest walk is amazing. We are just above or at the tree canopies and it's just beautiful to be able to look out over them. And I think because part of the trail is closed, there are far fewer people. So it's us and just a few others up here, which is really neat. Or maybe it's because it's the middle of the afternoon and only dumb tourists come up at this time. I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's say that it's because part of the trail is closed. Plus we got to fly the drone. Far fewer people, this is awesome. And we're crazy. Okay, like the verdict is out apparently. <laughs> I love how this walk is zigzaggy in nature. I don't know if this was done intentionally to work around the trees or if trees had to be moved and it's just zigzaggy for fun, but I like it. The Singaporeans really know how to do a raised walkway through trees. And make it scenic and interesting. Love it. Might be kind of hard to see, but there's a stream down there, but there aren't any otters. Yes, I am looking. I think I've decided that it's like a bucket list goal to see otters in the wild. I've seen them in the zoo, not in the wild. Not today at least. You know what else is on our list of favorite things? Bamboo. Bamboo! Right here on our trail. List of favorite things. When you cannot get a type of tree at home and you run into it in the wild when you're traveling, it's incredible. It smells really good here too. <laughs> I know I talk a lot about how things smell, but isn't that part of the experience when you're traveling or going somewhere new? You not only see things that are new, you taste things that are new, and yes, you even smell things that you haven't smelled before. I didn't really realize that was a thing until we started traveling more broadly a year ago. <laughs> he likes bamboo. He's stuck back there. We're never gonna make progress. I should call him Bamboo Bill. <laughs> Look at this bridge. I think we just stumbled across Henderson Waves, like, cousin that never gets talked about. This bridge is so cool. Did not know it was here. Love it. I mean, it doesn't have the resting places on it, but it's still really neat. Super picturesque. We have made it to Hort Park. Hort Hort Park. one word, Hort Park. And there's Hort Center and Hort House. And Bill wants to know if Horton hears of who is here. <laughs> I have actually heard that this garden is fantastic and rivals the Botanic Garden. The strange things tourists do. So what's the story on this? All over Singapore, the last time that we were here, I smelled this caramel, nutty, toasty smell. And I can't identify the source. And it's happened everywhere in Singapore. It is not the chocolate factory. It's definitely not the chocolate factory. And I smell it right here. Is it this plant that I smell? There's a lot of them. Maybe it's this tree right above me. I tried smelling its bark, like a crazy person. It's killing me to not figure out what it is, despite so many people trying. The most common suggestion is that it's 
pandan leaves. Pandan, pandan, pandan. But I found some of those leaves and I tried smelling them and they don't smell like that nutty caramel toasty smell. So I don't know. It's very disappointing. I can't figure out what this is. <laughs> is my mystery smell these? It's something right in this area. It's very, very strong. These are the things near me. It's very strong. This rich, caramel, buttery, toasty, rum smell. It does not smell like these flowers. It's also worth noting that I did pick up some of the mulch and I smelled the mulch like a crazy person. It is not the mulch. I tried though. That was a suggestion. I've got a theory. What's your theory? Well, there's a restaurant right behind no, us. No, it's not a restaurant. To me anyway, that smells like cooked rice and vanilla. Nope. Nope. We smelled it in the middle of nowhere with no restaurants anywhere in the vicinity. And we still, and it's always the same exact smell. It's not like it's the same restaurant everywhere we go. Could be a really common Indian or Malay dish, who knows? As you can tell, this has <laughs> baffled me. Baffled me. <laughs> This is a really neat complex. So far we've discovered bathrooms, a water refill station, a retail shop that I highly recommend, not because I purchased anything, but because it was air conditioned, a cafe, and there's a lawn where there was a wedding taking place, which is kind of amazing luck. <laughs> I seem to have sweated off all my mosquito bug spray. <laughs> upon these massive palm trees. They're absolutely huge. This plant is truly massive. Each leaf is super thick. It is not as thick as aloe vera plants. Not only is it far bigger in size, but also the leaves are just so much thicker. It really is an incredible plant. Tree. Thing. Wow. So we're walking through here, we're enjoying a number of different themed gardens, including the butterfly garden. This is not the actual size of a butterfly, do not worry. It's a bunch of yellow ones. Stay still. There's also been a therapeutic garden and an edible garden and all sorts of different themes as we're walking along, which is really cool. Wherever I read that this rivals the Singapore Botanic Gardens, I would say it's not quite as impressive, but it's close. Well, we just found out what canopy walk means. It means we're gonna go up again, up there. As Bill has said many a time, the Singaporeans do love their raised walkways. For how high up these trails are, they really do undulate a little bit. This one's going down for a little bit. Now we're gonna go up, up ahead. This is not how most people picture Singapore, but look at this. It looks like I'm in a jungle. It's amazing. It's really nice that a significant portion of this trail that we've been all on all day is shaded because it is very, very hot out in Singapore most days, especially in July. And it's just kind of nice to get a little break. We are in the final park that we are visiting today. This is Kent Ridge Park, just in case we haven't mentioned that. It's kind of a long haul to the end, but we are gonna persist. In case you're wondering, it's about 5.15 p.m. The light is beautiful. It's cooled down just a little bit, like just enough to take the edge off. And we're starting to see more people on the trails again, which is really fun. I love that we spent eight days exploring so much of Singapore last time, and we are still encountering new things here. Look at all of the cargo containers. I mean, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of them off in the distance. We never had this viewpoint before. Okay, Bill says tens of thousands. I mean, like, it is a lot. <laughs> We 
have not worked out enough today. That's not what I was thinking. Yeah, on the MRT at least here, there are signs that say no durians on board. I get that, they stink. The problem is we stink worse than durians. Oh God. And it's a really good thing this isn't Speak smell for tube. yourself. Okay, I stink worse than a durian probably. Are they gonna let me back on the train? Why yes, I do know what it's like to go on a hike with somebody who stops all the time. Well, we made it to the pond, which means that we are almost to the other end of Kent Ridge Park. And it is now that I let you in on a secret that I learned back at the Hort Center when I came across a map that showed where we were walking today, it showed the distances, and it had us starting where we started today down at sort of the harbor front MRT and ending down here at Kent Ridge Park. And would you believe it's not 10 kilometers? It's like seven and some change. Wise, you, you wise. Have, you have to go to Labrador Park to get the full 10K. We wanted to do the 10K today, but we do not have the energy or the time to get to Labrador Park. I feel kind of lied to, I have to say. Wise. <laughs> I am glad that we did this though. So I just checked my smartwatch and it says that we went up 44 flights of stairs today and we walked almost nine miles, which is this many kilometers. So I don't know who to believe now because that's a lot more than seven kilometers. Wise. <laughs> no wonder we are so tired. I mean that in the heat. Wow. Well, we seem to have emerged into some kind of business park. We're hot and hungry. We're gonna find our way back to our hotel and we'll leave you here. We had the most amazing first day back in Singapore from a beautiful hike to, hands down, the best Hawker Center experience we've ever had. Yeah. It makes me so excited for what we have coming up in the next week. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.